Hey everybody, I told everybody I would do a cat tea light uh, video. And uh, so we're going to do cat tea lights in black. And I'm going to do a couple of trays in black and gold. <clears throat> so the uh, mixtures that I'm using today is 300 grams of cement all, 76 grams of H2O, and about 10 grams of um super black for the cats for the trays i'm doing the standard 295 grams of cement all about 75 grams of water and some black and gold uh, acrylic paint to get my little swirls that i want so do the two black cats i'm gonna do those at once and then i'm do one tray and one tray and then after this gets done i'll do a demold and then I'll show you all the other things I've been creating this week. So I've been making lots of cats. They were extremely popular at last week's market. So I wanted to make a bunch of them this week. Make probably a couple dozen of them when I get done. And uh, hopefully sell a bunch of those. <clears throat> so this is the 300 grams of cement ball and the 10 grams of super black. Super black. Uh, yeah, this stuff is uh, gotta you gotta be careful working with it. I like to work with it when I'm bare handed, so I can see where it is, so I don't go touch some of my white cabinets because I have white cabinets in here. So I want to make sure I know where where the dirt is, and um, <clears throat> so I know where it is. I don't want to I don't want to do this with gloves. I know a lot of people like to wear gloves when they do this kind of stuff I really don't because I want to see where um, just like I may have some black on my hands I don't want to touch anything with my hands if I know it's there so and if you're wearing black gloves that's gonna hide it so you end up touching something that you don't want to touch so that's the reason that you see me use my bare hands all the time because I definitely want to see where Let's see if I'm using any dye or any stain. I definitely want to make sure that uh, where that is. I'm gonna make sure I don't get into my cabinets. So I'm just making this, just you know, normal stuff. It's almost a four to one mixture. So I'm just stirring it up good, making sure that we don't have any lumps. Even if there's a couple little lumps, it's not going to make any difference. These molds are pretty cool. Uh, because they're pretty deep. And they're actually forgiving upon if you don't uh, mix everything perfectly. That looks pretty good. So that's a good consistency. So I like putting that in its own little cup. So I had to do these almost one at a time. And This is something I'm not too worried about bubbles. I've yet to see any bubbles pop up in any of these molds, so I'm not gonna play thump 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 to get to get bump to get stuff to settle if I don't need to, so stuff looks like porn tar. <laughs> look really good looks like we got a good end good end I think we're in good shape so that's it for pouring cats 
So, doing these trays, you can see what I'm doing. Normal stuff, we're just going to mix this. I use a different one. Just for personal preference, I'm going to move this here so you can see a little better. I'm going to move this one a little bit closer so you can see better. And just the normal, just mix it together. Make sure it's pretty smooth. This one I want really smooth because of how I'm going to pour it. Um, I try to keep anything that I'm doing with black, black containers, black stirring stuff, anything that I'm doing with that super black, I keep it away from everything else because it has a tendency to uh, spread. <clears throat> I've moved to a little different these little paint cup things. I've moved to some different ones. These are a lot cheaper. They're like 25 for 15 bucks. So they're considerably cheaper compared to those heavier plastic ones I was using. Okay, so they look pretty good. Looks nice and Nice and smooth. I'll put this one in this one. Keep it keep it clean. Um, so we're gonna put some gold in here. Just on the top. That's why I got a separate one over there. Because I have a feeling this one's gonna run out. There it is. And I wanna make sure I get every little last piece out of there. Not as much black. This black can be a little overpowering here. So let's get this. So we're just gonna stir this gently. I'm trying to break up any big clumps of paint because I don't want the big clumps of paint didn't gum up my works too bad. I reused my skewers, so I like to wipe them off. So I'm going to come down here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to pour this right down the middle first. And then I'm going to go around the outside. Because I'm trying not to mess with the design in the middle too much. So I'm going to layer this on as I go around. And what I'm trying not to do is mess with that first pore that's underneath all this. Because that has a lot of my design in it. I'm going to tap this one. I want to get everything out of here. So I'm going to work with this now a little bit. A little thumping. Just on the ends. And with this dryer stuff that came out, I'm going to work it in a little bit to get it to lay flat. So when we get done, you won't see it. Okay, leave it alone. 
I'm gonna keep messing with it, leave it alone. Okay, so we'll do the second tray, same thing. And all this smoke coming up, this is exactly why you need to be wearing a respirator or a mask. Because you don't want to be breathing this stuff in all day long. So perfect reason to wear a respirator or a mask. But you're not going to be able to hear me if I wear my respirator, so... amount of gold yeah these things were so popular I actually sold out of all the ones I had at the at the market I was really surprised I mean, people went crazy for them I mean I've always had them um, they were into doing getting trays and getting soap dishes which is surprising I sold more soap dishes than I ever had before in the last weekend. So I'm going to mix this black in gently. Just want to get any big major clumps of it out. Almost looks like a paisley. Uh, I'm going to wipe that off because I like to reuse those. So I'm going to pour this right down the middle. Or roughly down the middle. So that's going to be the big chunk of my design is right there. And then I'll go on the outside. And I'll go back over the middle. so I can see what I'm doing. I do a lot of pours on my knee. Because I like to see what's going on on the level of where I'm pouring from. So I like to get down here where the work is. left I know some people like to freehand this stuff and I like to use my formulas because of I don't like to waste a whole lot of product <clears throat> so I like to uh, I'm just cheap uh, I like to uh, not throw away a lot if I don't have so it looks pretty good. I think that looks pretty good. So that's good to settle. You won't even see that when I get done. And since it's going to be on the bottom, you're not going to see it anyway. Now I'm not going to even high ridges off. So that one looks good. That one looks good. The two cats look good. And um, I'll be back in a couple hours. We'll do a demold. And then I'll show you all the rest that I've done this, this morning. It's been a long day. Okay, thanks, Mike.